Hey guys, in this next video, uh, we're looking at uh, some of the parts of the lubrication system on Chapter 13, part of the lab. Uh, we did uh, a chance uh, to do the uh, oil pressure test on our Saturn that we have over here in the classroom. A uh, couple of parts that we need to look at on the oil pan. Um, if you see this right here, this is going to be the baffle right in here. This is what we're looking at and talked about as far as uh, preventing a lot of oil from getting out of the sump area. So the oil, pick, oil pump pickup screen right here can pick it up while it's inside there. Okay, so this is the oil pump itself. This is a, uh, of course, gear driven. There's gears inside here that drive it. Okay, um, and this happens to be the <clears throat> screen part in the neck assembly, which can be removed by the way. You can take, put on a vise, take this off and remove it if you need to clean it. But look for the, any debris that are inside the filter screen. Okay, that can cause some problems. Uh, inside here, where it goes to the pickup tube, it's got to go directly to the PRV valve, pressure relief valve. Um, and I'm going to come over here to kind of show you uh, when we test these things uh, on a bench, there's a little, it's spring loaded on one side over here, as you can see. Uh, you would get your little pocket screwdriver in this case and come over here and kind of push it out. And then you should see it retract and you should hear it click. Okay. That means it's a good working pressure relief valve. Uh, we're gonna get into the diagnostics of that in the next uh, lecture to talk to you about what happens when it's fully open and what happens when it's fully closed and stuck closed. Uh, some of the things that can be associated with that. Uh, we see this type of oil pump and the other one that I was telling you about also that's incorporated within the, the timing chain cover is the rotary type. Uh, this one's got vanes or rotors on it. When you get the oil pump assembly, this whole assembly you have to purchase you don't see this inside here you got vanes and rotors that are in the back of the pump right there that are driven right there your PRV valve is inside here okay uh, and of course there's your oil filter where after it filters up then it goes over all to your main bank your main bearing galleries uh, all the way up to the top part of the valve train and then uh, of course it gets splash fed back down to the drain backs so um, you got to be careful with these. Uh, this is, uh, of course, an expensive item when you are having to replace the oil pump on it. But this is what we're looking at as far as late model vehicles, and what we're, as far as replacing the oil pump. This one you'll find, of course, up underneath the engine. Uh, so you have to remove the oil pump, I mean, excuse me, the oil pan to remove the oil pump. And this one, of course, you got to take the time chain cover off to get it done. Okay, so uh, that concludes uh, a couple of questions components of the lubrication system that are uh, important. Uh, we'll look at uh, doing the, uh, the lecture on troubleshooting engine um, lubrication problems for next time. You guys take care and be safe.